All right, how's it going, guys? We are back. Another tutorial here. I'm going to break into some Titans here. So I've got quite a few of these. Um, we are going to go over a different shot than what we did uh, last time. I'm either going to go Titan or Katana, depending on how the distance falls. Um, you know, if you need just a little bit extra length, you can do this shot with a Thor's 2. So you don't need a Thor's 5. Um, I think 3... Is it three that the point where the backspin is equal? I think you, on a Thor's two, you might just be a little bit less backspin than I have, um, which is 60, 72, 74, somewhere in there. I think at a two, it might temporarily be around a 50, 40, uh, some, somewhere in there. Um, but you can still do this shot. Let's look at a Katana ball. So I know it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit easier with a Titan, but it can be doing be done with either. Now the shot that I like to do is I like to come just a little bit off. I use about six. I'm using about six rings there. I only go full um, as backspin gets way up there, so or as wind gets way down. So here you see uh, that's only five and a half. That's that's usually where I like to use, and I'm trying to visualize this as my landing zone. So. You know, I might use five rings, kind of like this, a little bit of side spin. Let's try it like this, see what this looks like. And this is going to be, you know, a much safer approach to go for this. And you can see I very, very well executed that, gave it a good chance for a run uh, for the eagle. And there you can see, you know, we almost got a hole in one. It's going to be very manageable. You're going to have to do very little. What did I do power wise? Almost nothing. I used just a little bit of, uh, and you can see that shot's going to be far more consistent um, than this rough hop. So you guys did see me pull off a rough hop with the extra mile. I've done it in rookie and pro division, but I also want to show you once you start getting a little bit more advanced clubs. Uh, it's much much easier to do the fairway hop over the bunker especially downwind um, this is the one case where this hole becomes very aceable um, keep in mind how important perfect ball is going to be top uh, how important perfect ball is going to become um, I don't want to just give this guy the eagle because I feel like you know he didn't earn it but uh, I am going to forfeit out here. Uh, you know, maybe he still gets it anyway. Um, you know, at the, at the very worst, he's going to get a birdie. But let's see what he does. Um, you know, hopefully, if, uh, I don't know. This guy probably is honestly playing in pro. I mean, just by looking at his trophies and everything. You know, but it also wouldn't hurt, I feel, to give this guy the stroke. You know, nice little boost wouldn't wouldn't have been the worst thing. So I wouldn't have mind giving this guy the eagle. But I just try, for the most part, not to. Um, because, you know, you plus you want to practice that pitch as, as well. Um, actually seeing the pitch, you know, can be very important because if you wind up in that similar spot, um, you can bail yourself out uh, next time around. So, uh, you know, keep all those things in mind uh, when you're playing. But, uh, you know, at the very least, uh, take a look at what I did for that hole. Um, you know, I really didn't do anything that was uh, too, um, you know, advanced. That was very complicated for you to do. I used very little curl. I used very little extra power. I mean, it was just marginally those two things. And I just took advantage of a katana ball and having that side spin and setting my back spin right around 5.5. So, and you could see rollout wise, it's about perfect. Um, you know, you're gonna have to hit perfect ball if you wanna give yourself a good chance at the hole in one, but a great ball on either side isn't gonna cost you either. Um, it's just not gonna give you a hole in one if you do everything else that I just did proper. Um, you just won't have the aim. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, 
you know, good luck with that hole. I think you guys are going to tear it up and uh, see you guys for hole number five.